Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Mark Kupferberg from Kepco. And Mark's going to talk to us a little bit about the role linear power supplies played in detecting gravitational waves. Mark, you say that those power supplies are the secret sauce of that. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's right. The first generation of the LIGO Observatory used switching power supplies, and the RF noise that came out of those power supplies obscured the signals that they were trying to measure. And so a few years ago, uh, they came to KEPCO to see if we could help them out because they had seen that we had such excellent specs on our linear power supplies, and they had also used some of them in the first-gen system. So they came to our factory in Flushing, and we went through the production test with them, and they couldn't believe that we got the results that we did. And so they got out their $40,000 spectrum analyzer. They hooked it up, and sure enough, it matched the three millivolt peak-to-peak -peak noise that we spec, and which our production test verified. And so they bought them and installed them in these power supply rooms uh, throughout the observatories in both Hanford and in um, Livingston, Louisiana. And so they got to detect before they actually went live with the system, the merger of these black holes 1.2 billion years ago. And we were the secret sauce because we were the quiet power that enabled them to detect those gravitational waves. And the deflection, they tell us, was less than the diameter of a proton. Mark, uh, how much noise were, the, were those switching supplies generating, the ones that you replaced? They were in excess of 180 millivolts. And uh, we had another surprise when, when they sent us this picture, and that was we found that alongside our brand new power supplies, they were running power supplies that we had sold them 15 years ago. So that speaks to the longevity and stability of what we provided as well. <laughs> well, that's an interesting story, Mark, uh, and thanks for your uh, contribution to the scientific knowledge. Thank you very much.